Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. It is main event time on NXT Deadline 2023, and it is Ilya Dragunov defending the NXT title against Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin coming out in that um, on the on the motorcycle once again for the second straight for the second straight pay per view. If that's gonna be his thing for the P, for the for the pay per views, I'm cool with that. Um, I figured this match was gonna be physical. I figured this match was gonna be. Yeah, I figured this match was gonna be brutal. I figured this match was gonna look painful, and it was. Um, Baron Corbin threw everything at Dragonoff, hurting his ribs early on. So that way, Dragunov wouldn't be able to stand or do whatever. So his ribs and his back were hurting. So Baron Corbin was doing a good job at aiming for that. The problem is, Dragunov loves pain. So it's like, damn. How you gonna be somebody who just loves to be hurt? So that was a thing. Um. Also... <laughs> Also, this match um, had a little bit of, I guess, motivation to it because it's past Tuesday. These two had a face to face and Baron Corbin was talking about um, how he's letting his son down, you know, letting the family down, whatever the case is, dragging off, trying his hardest to not beat the holy hell out of Corbin. Instead, he hugged him, like hugged him like a madman with, with, with the crazy ass face and said, the only way you can stop, the only person, the only thing to stop the dragon is the dragon himself. And that was it. You know what I'm saying? So we going to see, we were going to see how that was going to play out. <laughs> Uh, I don't think Corbin talked a lot of mess to Dragunov, which was which I was kind of expecting. I was kind of expecting them to just be on like beating Dragunov, being being Ilya up, and then talk and as well talking his mess. He's like, I, th I thought he'd say something like, "You let your son down, huh? Is this what your son, is this what his daddy's is? His daddy's pathetic, you know, something like that, you know." Um. And it, I don't think it went that way. I don't think it went that way. But it, but it was a pretty good match, pretty solid match. Um, I didn't really write much on it. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of just zoned out at this point. Like I just wanted to get here and then just call it a day. I was zoned out most of this match, but I was still watching. Still watching. I actually wanted to see what would happen if Baron Corbin hit the end of days. Because... Baron Corbin's in the days. I think only two people have kicked out of that move. I believe only two people kicked. Yeah, I believe only two people have kicked out of that move. It was um, Drew McIntyre last year. And then it was Carmelo Hayes this year. Other than that, nobody really kicks out of the end of days. I was actually, I actually was so curious to see how it was going to go. I mean, me, yeah, probably dragging off would have kicked out, probably. But I wanted to, see, but I wanted to see if Baron Corbin hit it, and I wonder how close that pin, that that near fall was gonna be. I thought he was gonna, I thought he was gonna hit it because as, as um, as Corbin had him in position, dragging off spin, you know, spun out. I thought that I honestly thought that was a botch. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought that was a botch. I thought that wasn't supposed to happen, but I, apparently that was the plan. So I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool. you know. Oh shit, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Like I was, I was so confused at first. But um, Dragon on spun out of the end of days, and then he was able to hit a DDT, and then he started hitting those H bombs. He hit one. How many did he hit? He hit three actually. He hit one, then he hit two, then he hit three. Like, literally, what he did to Nathan Frazier two weeks ago is the same exact thing that Dragunov was doing here. Instead, he 
He was on top of him. Corbin was getting up. And then dragging off again, hugs him. He's hugging him and he's talking in his ear. But we don't know what he's saying because it's not loud enough. So he's just talking to him. Corbin's just, I think Corbin's kind of just dazed and confused at this point in time. I don't think he recovered from the, from the H bombs that he got. I thought when Corbin went to the, I'm sorry, I thought when Dragon went to the corner, I thought he was going to go on top rope and do like a super H bomb from the top. Nah, he just set up for the Mo, for the Torpedo Moscow. One, two, three, Dragon off retains. That's what I figured. I figured Dragon off retains. Even though I'd love to see Baron Corbin as NXT champion, I don't think it's going to happen any given time, which almost makes you wonder why Baron Corbin even went back to NXT to begin with if he never was going to win anything. So that, that makes it interesting. And then before the show ended, Trick Williams came out there and pretty much symbolized, you know, title coming home with me. And before it went black, Carmelo Hayes went behind Trick. And after that, it just went black. It, it looked like Carmelo was about to attack Trick, but then it, it, it just went black after that. So we we don't know. You know, say we don't know what's gonna happen. We didn't know what was gonna happen. You boom, right? <laughs> but yeah, my my prediction still stands. I think Dragonoff and Trick Williams for the NXT Championship at New Year's Evil. I think Trick is about to have the win. Carmelo Hayes comes out of nowhere. He accidentally screws Trick from winning, and then Melo gets in the ring. He's trying to apologize to Trick. Trick not hearing it. And then Melo, boom, attacks Trick from behind. And then, boom, Carmelo Hayes turns heel January 2nd. I I don't think I'll actually be home for that. So, that actually sucks. So, forget what I said. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm going to be home for that. I technically won't. I'm trying not to be. But we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But... Yeah, um, I think that's going to happen. If it does, just wipe your hands with it. Call it a day. You already know what it is. Uh, but that was the NXT deadline um, reviews. <laughs> I almost forgot what I call these things. Um, this is the NXT deadline reviews. Um, this is the final PLE for WWE as a whole. Um, 2023 was a crazy, crazy, crazy year for WWE. Um, Man. It's just, just crazy. It's so much happened. So much went down. And yeah, that's all I got. So until then, it's been Rose, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and support as always. Um, I got a couple videos I want to do. Um, I want to preview MJF versus Samoa Joe for World's End on December 30th. I want to, I want to preview that because... That match is kind of important based on a lot of things. Um, I'm going to do my annual um, grading every WWE pay-per-view. So we'll do that. Um, be on the lookout for that. It might come in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, and yeah, I'm still, I'm still loading up my Yu-Gi-Oh, my 2K. Everything I'm doing at the moment is getting uploaded. So you already know what it is, man. So until next time, peace, love, on it. Here.